Do you want to know how I film my YouTube videos? Well, good news. Today, I'm going to tell you. When I say this took me four years to figure out my process, how to streamline it, how to record my DAW and be able to record my vocals in my DAW while being able to record vocals and having a separate track for vocals and being able to record my screen and record this and edit it all together. The whole thing took four years and I feel like I've only just started to figure it out and I'm still working on making it better. Like I know my sound can be better. I was really bad at not wearing headphones for a while, but now I remember too. And there's just so many, you know, there's just so many moving pieces. I'm going to give you all of my secrets today for free. By the end of this video, you'll know all the things to start recording YouTube videos as a music producer. So there's about four things you need. And some of the stuff you don't need as high quality as I have, but I had fortunately been making pretty good money as a music creator for the last three years so I have invested in some of the stuff and some of the stuff I was actually able to get by working with music tech companies. This is not a sponsored post by any means. I will give you guys links to everything and they are affiliate links. I don't really like using affiliate links for these products mostly because I really, really believe in these products. If you do use them, just know that you are helping me make money, which I appreciate. In return, I will try to help you make money any way I can. First up is this microphone. The reason I like this microphone for recording YouTube videos is because I plug it in using a USB-C. So I'm able to have a separate vocal track for just my speaking already in my video, basically. And when it bounces, I have a separate vocal track. So that's really helpful when I'm recording in my DAW. I want to have a separate vocal speaking track than the music playing or the vocals I recorded in there. When I do record vocals, I will use another microphone and I have lots of microphones in my studio. Typically, I'll use this one. That's Austrian Audio's OC818, but you can really use any microphone. The other thing is this stand, this boom stand. Um, it's by Gator Frameworks and it has an XLR in it, which is really handy. I've tried different boom stands and a lot of them like don't stay in place. They're very flimsy and they, they're not cheaper. So they all, like, they cost a hundred bucks anyway. So I really recommend this boom stand. This is by far the best one that I've used. So now to film myself, like where you see me, the image, I use this vlogging camera. You guys do not need to spend $700 on a vlogging camera. I got suckered into this thing and yeah, it's cool. I think it looks good, but you can get a different one. You can use your phone. You can use your computer camera. So all of that is cool, but literally you can use whatever mic you want. I really like this one because it plugs in. So I would recommend for your vocals to have some sort of mic that you can plug into your computer or record a separate vocal track. Okay, now to the juicy stuff. By far the best thing for me for recording these videos, this tool, which has been beyond worth it, is... Drum roll, please. Ecamm. Okay, so this is Ecamm. This is what it looks like. So it's kind of hard to see because like my desktop is different, but like this is how it looks. So this is my screen. So if I added like something here, you can see that in the screen. I'm just moving it around, but I'm gonna go back. Okay, so why do I love this? Well, first of all, I have this little, I've set this up that you can have um, a border around it here if you see this overlay, you can add all of your overlays here. So I've also added another overlay. This one has a hotkey, A. So if I type A, my little logo, that's not that's an old logo, but it pops up, right? Same with this. This hotkey is X, so I can just let it go away. And I really like how this is just right here, so you can see everything. And then if I want to switch to just me... Here I am in full, and then I can press X. Anyways, you can just move it if you don't want it there. And then you can put it back if you want it. And you can move this away if you want to move it away. And then if I go back to my computer, here I am. So you can make it bigger if you need to. You can make it smaller. And for the longest time, I was spending hours and hours in post-editing to put this, this little bubble there, and it was just taking forever. And 
I was trying to do this on OBS, but OBS was was really annoying. Um, so you can zoom if you want. You can do a green screen if you want. You can switch to different cameras if you have different camera angles. So that's super useful and it's really easy. Okay. So now here's the big dream, this baby. So now when I open up my DAW to record, I have my universal audio, which is where I am using my interface. So if I record vocals or record anything in Logic, it's gonna go on that channel. Let me just show you real quick if I open up Logic. Okay, so now I have Logic opened and I can just play. I think that you're lying to yourself, but you never have to lie to me. So you can see here, there's very little bleed. And what's cool about this microphone is you can mute just by tapping here. I think that you're lying to yourself, but you never have to lie to me. And I can unmute here. I'm able to play in Logic. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much my setup. Another cool thing is that you can also stream and you can stream right to YouTube. This is how I use Ecamm to stream as well. Um, that's how I do my weekly streams with Boombox. So just to recap, the main things you need are a microphone to record your vocals separately, your speaking vocals. You need a camera to record your face. Then you need a way to record your DAW and your camera. And I really like Ecamm. I know some people use OBS, but I do not like OBS. I do not like Streamlabs. I've tried so many other things. I've tried ScreenFlow. They're all so confusing. This is the easiest one that I've used. I love it. I would recommend this one the best. They get my 100% endorsement. <laughs> and I don't feel bad endorsing them because this is the only reason I've been able to make YouTubes on a regular basis in the last four years. Oh, I was also using QuickTime Player. What a hot mess that was. And this has just been the easiest to edit. So there is a link to all the stuff below. Just so you know, they are affiliate links. I really appreciate the support by you guys using those links. But please, please, please know from the bottom of my heart that I would not promote something that I would not use myself. I use Ecamm on a daily basis. I use this microphone on a daily basis and I use this camera on a daily basis. My, I don't love this camera. I probably wouldn't spend $700 on this camera, just so you guys know. I would probably find a different camera, but it's fine. Maybe I just need to learn how to use it. I wanted to make this video because a bunch of you have been asking for it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.